Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be coming at you with another LaunchBox tutorial. We're going to be covering Arcade Playlist. Now this was introduced in LaunchBox 7.8. One of my favorite features. This is awesome. We're going to do Arcade Playlist. Go over Custom Playlist. And I'm also going to show you how to import your video themes from within LaunchBox so you can use them in big box mode. Now these are premium features here, so you need the paid version of LaunchBox for any of this to work. It's well worth it, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have some Final Burn Alpha games. Now I have switched from MAME about two years ago to Final Burn Alpha. Now I love MAME to death, but Final Burn Alpha is just so much simpler for me. I'm not worried about the accuracy of the game as long as it's playing at 60 FPS. The game's playable and the sound works great. That's all I'm worried about when emulating an arcade game on my PC. I used to want to go for super accuracy, but I found going for 60 FPS and good sound is all I really need. So I have about 800 arcade games here running in Final Burn Alpha. I'm using RetroArch with a few different Final Burn Alpha cores. If I want to scroll down through here, I have all kinds of mixes. I have iRem games. I have Capcom Play System 1, 2, 3 some Konami classics, things like that. And I kind of want them sorted out. Like I said, there's 800 games here. It's hard to scroll through and find exactly what I want when I want to play a game. The new 7.8 update for LaunchBox fixes all of these problems for us. And it's very simple to do. So here's my Final Burn Alpha games. I'm going to create arcade playlist very easily. I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to create missing arcade main playlist. Now, this will work if you're using Final Burn Alpha, MESS, MAME, Neo Geo. Whatever emulator you want to use, be it RetroArch or a standalone version, this will work. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Missing Arcade Main Playlist. This process will create any missing playlist for your arcade platforms, such as Capcom Classics, Namco Classics, etc. Would you like to continue? Yes, I would. So we'll see the bar scrolling through here at the bottom. It's going to take all of my Final Burn Alpha games or MAME games or Neo Geo games, whatever you have, and it's going to separate them into categories. So let's say I have a lot of CPS1 games or Capcom Play System. We'll have an option for CPS1, 2, 3, Irene, Konami Classics, Namco Classics. It makes life so much simpler when trying to go through and choose a game. Wait a little while, this really depends on how many games you have. I have 800, so it's going to take a bit. And we're done. 24 playlists have been added to your collection. They are available under playlist and also with your platforms under arcade category. Now for me, some of these are going to be unpopulated. Some of the Sega playlist and things like that, because I don't have a lot of Sega games on here. Most of the Data East collection, Cave, Capcom Play System 1, 2, and 3 are definitely going to be populated. Those are my favorite arcade games to play anyway. Go ahead and click OK. Over in the left-hand column here, you can see we have some new selections. So if I was to go to Capcom Play System, otherwise known as CPS1, you can see I have all of my CPS1 games listed now. Ready to go, sorted out. Same with Capcom Play System 2. Three, also have a bunch of cave games. And it's really that simple. As long as you have your arcade games within LaunchBox already, like I said, any emulator will work. This will work with MAME, Neo Geo, MESS, Final Burn Alpha, Final Burn Alpha Standalone, MAME, RetroArch, FBA, RetroArch, anything. So I'll go to Data East Classics, Irene, Konami, Midway, Namco, SNK Classics, SNK Neo Geo NVS, and so on and so on. I'm going to go up to Platforms. I'm going to go to Playlist. Now we have other playlists that weren't shown on the main menu because I don't have any games in them. So Sega Model 3, I have no Sega Model 3 games on my system yet. 
but everything else is populated except for the Sega stuff and Williams Classics. Now I have a lot of games, but I haven't imported everything that I want just yet. I've been working on my favorite arcade games right now, which mainly consist of the CPS collection. I'm gonna go back to platforms and I wanna show you how to create a custom playlist for yourself. So we've always had the option to favorite a game and have kind of a favorites playlist, but I want a N64 playlist with the N64 games that I love to play every week. I'm gonna go to Nintendo 64. I'm just gonna click on any one of these games because we're gonna create a playlist now. I'm just gonna right click, add to playlist, new playlist, and you can name it whatever you want. Let's say Jeremiah's favorite Nintendo 64 games. For me, I'm just gonna call it N64 Love. Sort title. So let's say you wanted all your Nintendo playlists together in a list. You would just put a sort title as Nintendo here. If I made another one, let's say SNES Love or my favorite SNES games, I would also put Nintendo here. So LaunchBox knows that we can sort these by Nintendo games. Sort games by, I leave this to default, but you can set it for manual, date added, date modified. You can go down a list and find something that you'd like. One last thing here, we can add a logo. Now I've created a logo and I've placed it on my desktop, something very simple here. And I just wanted to add this to show you guys. I'm gonna click okay. Now that we have that playlist created, we need to add some games to it. So. Banjo-Kazooie, one of my favorite N64 games. I'm gonna right click, add to playlist, find your newly created playlist, and now it's added. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. I'm gonna add Mario Kart, right click, add to playlist, N64 Love. And I'm also gonna add Mario Party. We now have our own custom playlist for our favorite Nintendo 64 games. Now this will work with anything. If you want SNES favorites, SNES classics, you can make a playlist for anything. So just an example, games for the kids, girl games, boy games, games for my son. You can add a playlist just for that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and find that new playlist. I'll go up to my platform selection here, playlist, N64 Love. Now I have my three favorite N64 games in this directory. So we don't have to shuffle through every single Nintendo 64 game to find Mario Kart 64. It's here in our N64 custom playlist. It's as simple as that, guys. Now there are tons of new features built into 7 point that have to deal with playlists, but I kind of wanted to cover arcade playlist, custom playlist, and I also want to show you a really cool feature that was just added. If you have the paid version, all of this works for you. We're going to download platform theme videos for use within big box mode. We're going to go to tools, download platform playlist theme videos. Now, some people don't use videos in big box mode, but I love using a video to show me what system I have selected. So it's going to populate the list for us. There's a preview over on the side, so let's go ahead and preview the cave video. And this cave looks amazing. So yeah, definitely, I want this video in here. If you already have videos set up that you're used to, that you love, you don't have to do this at all, but these videos came out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my new playlists. Now they might automatically be selected for you already. And there we have it. I'm gonna click okay. So depending on how many videos you're downloading at one time for your playlist theme videos, it could take a while. Just sit back and relax, let it finish up downloading. Then we're gonna launch big box mode and I wanna show you these new arcade playlist within big box. All right, guys, so we've successfully downloaded videos for 22 platforms. Now, this is going to be for use in Big Box. I just want to go ahead and launch it and show you these new beautiful videos that can be downloaded through LaunchBox. Big Box. 
All right, guys. So as you can see, we have our arcade playlist listed within Big Box. The videos we downloaded are beautiful. Now, there's no reason to change this at all, at least in my opinion. Looks really good. So we have Irem, Konami, Midway, Namco, Nintendo Classics, Sega Classics, which I don't have any installed just yet. But one of my favorites, like I said at the beginning of the video, is Capcom. So we have our Capcom Classics. It's split it up for CPS 1, CPS 2, CPS 3. We also have Cave. I'm going to go into Cave. I'm using the Cover Flow system, which is my favorite. And I'm just going to launch Don Pachi. So this is one of my favorite shrumps, this and Blazing Star. So I'm gonna go with the helicopter. Just wanted to give you a quick demo of some gameplay here. Now I know a lot of you have probably played this game. If you haven't, I definitely suggest checking it out. It is such a great game. One of the best. Now I love Blazing Star more, but this is a really good game. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll try our hardest to get back to you. This pretty much covers the arcade playlist that was introduced in version 7.8 of LaunchBox. There are still a few things that I would like to cover within the playlist. If you guys have any questions at all, let us know in the comments below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Like always, thanks for watching.